Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at who is crushing on you. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm now going to show you crystals for each pile. So for pile number one we have goldstone. And we have the card move forward. For pile number two, we have aquamarine. And we have the card gentleness. And for pile number three, we have carnelian. And we have the card relaxation. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be a pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, always trust your intuition. Once you are done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this gold stone crystal and the move forward card, this reading is for you. We are going to be taking a look at who is crushing on you. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. We're now going to be using the messages from Mermaid's Oracle deck for you. We're going to be taking one card from this Oracle deck. Uh, I have already pre-shuffled your Oracle cards as well as your Tarot cards that I'm going to use for today. But we're first going to start out looking at your Oracle cards for a few minutes. So the first card we have here is Light. And at the back of the deck, we have healing. So now we're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck, and I have already pre-shuffled these cards as well. So the first card we have is Breath of the Cosmos with My Will to Thy Will Micromanaging the Universe. We have Star Brothers with Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. Then we have Inner Earth will you, with You Will Survive This, New Solutions and Beginnings. Then we have We the Hathors with Deep Love, Mother's Milk Birth as a Portal. At the back of the deck we have Weight of the World with Boundaries, Let It Go, It's Not Yours to Carry. So my pile number ones. The vibe I get from the person that is currently crushing on you is motherly or fatherly energy like this person doesn't have to be a mother or father but they give me very motherly fatherly energy like this type of vibe of you know I want to take care of the people around me even if they are younger in age you know we see an older man here so they could be a lot older than you or they could be in their older ages or they could be a lot mature in the sense of the way they think or the way they are as a person. They could be a lot younger but then have that sense of maturity. So the vibe I get from this person is that they're very protective over those they love. They always want to care for those they love. They always want to be there for those they love. Kind of giving you the vibe like if they have any friends they will take care of their friends. 
Uh, so this person, I'm seeing them be very generous. I'm seeing this person be a person that is very much like, okay, if you are having this sort of problem or this sort of challenge, I'm going to be here and help you through it. Or I'm going to give you advice or I'm going to help you plan through it or I'm going to listen to you and be there or I'm going to give you something to help you with that problem like this could be that type of person that you know like if you're at a place and you have a headache then they have pain pills uh this could be that type of person that you know always asks a person that's near them if they're okay if they're hungry if they need something to drink uh, this person feels like a provider energy, also feels like that type of energy of like, I just want to give to those around me. So this is a very loving person. And, you know, for some of you, they may be a mother or father. Whereas for others of you, like I said, they may just want to take care of those around them, especially in terms of romance. It's like they want to take care of whoever they're with in love because the vibe I get from this person with the Breath of the Cosmos card is this person has been waiting a while for love and it's kind of like to the universe, where is my lover? Where is my lover? Like I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for my lover. Where is my lover? They're ready to have a long-term relationship. I feel like this person is dating to marry or dating to have kids, dating to have a long-term life partnership in some way. Uh, this is a very loyal person. This person values honesty and communication. Although I may say this person may be a little bit impatient uh, or a little bit stubborn. That's one of their cons to this person's personality. But overall, I feel like this person is a very good person at heart. They have a lot of light. Um, however, I think with the impatience and the stubbornness, it will just take a little bit of boundaries. But this person is also someone that is very solution-oriented. You know, they may work in a field where they are always solving problems or they have a very analytical or logical eye where they can resolve certain issues or problems or challenges. This person may be an earth sign with the inner earth card or not. It's also okay, um, but we have inner earth here. So it's kind of giving me that vibe of like an earthy person. This person gives me a very grounded energy, but they also give a very much leadership energy with the move forward card. You know, we see this man being a king here, <laughs> a king of the ocean, and he he looks like he's just defeated this octopus, um, and he has this triton, I think it's called a triton, I'm not sure, could be wrong. Um, so there is a sense of, like, maybe this person having an energy to them of being in a position of power or being someone with a lot of leadership qualities or skills, being someone with a lot of internal and external strength, um, and being able to make decisions, quick decisions that are good. I feel like this person is very logical and analytical, but then at the same time has a lot of good leadership qualities and skills. And it's like they can kind of lead everyone and I'm seeing the wolf clairvoyantly, like the wolf spirit animal. This person may have the wolf spirit animal. And the wolf spirit animal basically represents loyalty. It represents that type of energy of like taking care of those around you. Leadership energy. Yeah, I think I did mention that here though. So that's quite funny. I feel like this person has a lot of light. They want to love because... I'm hearing that song, I Love to Love You Baby, something like that. <laughs> I don't know who it's by. If you know, let me know in the comments. But it's like, they're just wanting love. They're just wanting a relationship where they can be sharing things with their person. They want loyalty. They want, they want to build a trustworthy connection. 
with someone that has similar wants or needs to them. Although that this person is healing from something, moving forward from something, uh, breaking free from something in their life to do with certain emotions, I feel maybe that is the reason why... I wouldn't say the universe has putting their love life on hold, but more so the universe is giving them time to process certain emotions so that when they are going to meet the love that they are supposed to meet, that they can kind of just be ready for that love and open to that love. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards for you because I want to get more information on this person. So I'm hearing the song Clumsy by Fergie <laughs> as I tap into this person's energy. Specifically the part she says in the beginning where she's talking and she's like, you know, a girl like me likes serious relationships and I don't stay single for s for so long or something like that. And then she says, the love bug crawls right back up and bites me. And then she goes on to say like, you know, the first time she saw his eyes, he looked right through her and he knew like she had a crush on him or something like that. I don't remember the lyrics exactly, but you know, she talks about being clumsy for the person. So I don't know if that song is significant to this person crushing on you. We're going to be using the Ethereal Visions Tarot. I already pre-shuffled these cards. So the first card we have is the Judgment card. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Fool. As I pull the Fool card, I'm hearing that song, I'm a fool for you. It's like something like, I'm a good fool, I'm a good fool for you. I can't remember who it's by. I'm sure someone here will know. <laughs> Okay, we have the world. So this person may like music or you may like music since I'm hearing a lot of songs for you. We have the strength card. So not only is this person very generous and giving and that type of person that wants to take care of those around them, this person is maybe also someone that likes the finer side of life. I'm looking at the gold crystal you chose and it's very shiny. And then we also have a king here, but the king isn't just someone that's a king because he wants a lot of wealth or riches. <laughs> He's a king because he has a good heart, but then there is this vibe of like this person enjoying the finer side of life, enjoying, um, you know, the money they make. So this person may be very ambitious, like I said, may have leadership energy, may be a CEO, may be a person in power, may have their own business, entrepreneur maybe a manager, something along those lines. If not, it's okay, but they may also be someone that is very much not in love with their career, but like they love what they do, is what I'm hearing. And what they do does make a difference in some way, but then it also, like I'm also picking up this person who's very financially stable. Maybe not even just financially stable. They feel in their energy financially free in some way. This person feels very intelligent in their energy when it comes to business, when it comes to using their mind. Uh, they have amazing ideas. They are very innovative and they think outside of the box. With the Fool card, I feel like this is a type of person, when you talk to them, you know, you may like, even if they're a stranger, you know, you may talk to them and, you know, open up that connection and you may say to them or you may feel that vibe of like, you're not like anyone I've ever met. You're very different and unique. 
Um, so there is this vibe of like this person not wanting you to know that they are crushing on you. It seems like they are going through some kind of ending or rebirth here. That was so weird. <laughs> I just heard a knock on the wall or something like that. I don't know if it's someone next door or, or your spirit guides. I'm not going to go look because the other day someone uh, tried to open the door and I looked and there was no one there. <laughs> and I kind of got freaked out. Even though I know I'm talking to spirit guides, sometimes those things freak me out. <laughs> Um, I think this person has a crush on you because you're very empathetic. It's like you can see through them. That's something I keep seeing and I feel like this person is also someone very fun, very adventurous, optimistic and free-spirited and loyalty is a very important thing for them. Like, I'm literally seeing this person wanting to get married like in their next relationship or in their next partnership I think they're looking for love um and they have their eye on you because I think you exude a lot of the qualities they are looking for in a long-term partner even if they don't know you that well yet there's this vibe you give off where they feel like you could they feel like you could be the person they could start with and try with like even if they don't fully know you and all your qualities yet they feel like you match up to what they want in a life partner so with the judgment card I kind of get that vibe of like you know you may see this person and think they're another way based or first impressions but then when you actually get to know them and open up a key to Getting to know them, you may see a little bit of a different side to them that you never saw before. And with the strength card, I feel like this person, strength and the fool, maybe this person could also have like fire placements. But, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It gives me that vibe even with the seven of wands. And the world, maybe even Scorpio. I think the world is Scorpio. I could be mistaken. The vibe I get here from this person is they are currently letting go of something. I'm not sure what it is, but they are building strength to create some kind of new journey, to unlock a new door in some way. For some of you, this person could be going through a rebirth in their career. For some of you, it's in their love life. For some of you, it's in their emotions because spirit is not giving me specifics. So it may be different for all of you. Let's pull some more cards. So we have the Two of Wands. We have the Well. This is an extra card in this tarot deck. Yeah, like the Well on top of the Fool gives me the vibe of like, as you start to get to know them for the first time or just a little bit more and you know maybe open up your mind to this person you may have some kind of deep conversation with them or you may start to get to know them on a deeper level than just the surface level um, because it's kind of like you know when you see someone in public or you kind of just know someone that and they're an acquaintance and you have never really spoken to them before or you've spoken to them a few times you know sometimes we as humans make assumptions about people but then when we actually get to know them and talk to them on a deeper level we go get to know deeper parts of them that we never knew they had we have the ace of cups for some of you i'm hearing this person is divorced and has children for others of you i feel like this person has maybe been hurt in love um, and is healing from that, but there's an energy here of rebirth. But as this person is rebirthing and healing, even if they were in some kind of serious relationship and they're not married, don't have kids, were never married, anything like that, it's okay. This is a general reading. The vibe I get here is like 
They're healing something from love or relationships. With the Ace of Cups, because we have two Lotus Flowers here. But it's like they're kind of open to love. They're wanting a deeper sense of love in their life. And I guess that's why they're looking at you with the Two of Wands. And I mean, what's funny is this man even looks like the old man in that oracle card of that mermaid. Maybe for some of you, this is like an older man. The vibe I get is this person likes to gym and take care of themselves. They like to take care of their health and stay fit and healthy. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. Talk about generosity. I love that. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So this person could be Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles energy. And maybe wanting to spoil you. Maybe wanting to take you out on a date. Uh, maybe wanting to give you more of their time, give you more of a impression of them where it's like you're getting to know them on a deeper level. Uh, I think this person has gone through some hardships or challenges in their life, but they know how to solve those challenges. And they also love to be there for others when others are going through certain challenging dynamics or challenging situations in their life. I feel like this is the type of person that wants to spoil you. Even if it's not with money or monetary things, it's like, I want to spoil you. I want to give to you. I want to treat you like a queen, like a king kind of energy. This person's also very grounded and down to earth. King of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. I cannot make that up. <laughs> we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. So this person may actually feel things on a deeper level than most think. I feel because this person has business-like qualities or leadership-like qualities I feel like a lot of people just see their work self um, and don't see deeper parts of their personality or maybe they don't show it on purpose because it's like they want to, they want to be professional in some way but then I'm hearing the word cognitive dissonance, I'm not sure what that means. With the King of Cups, I feel like there is this deeper side to them, this deeper, more sensitive side to them that they want to show you, and they want to, they want to kind of like get curious as to who you are and start talking to you, start communicating with you. Like that's the vibe I get here. This person wants to open up some type of line of communication with you or have more communication with you. They're kind of curious by you. They think you're a little bit mysterious and it's like they want to learn more about you and who you are. I'm now hearing another song by Kali Ujis and it's like, baby come closer, I want to know who you are. The song is called Body Language. <laughs> uh, so this person may also be very attracted to you because that song sounds very sensual. But I feel like this person is also someone with a pretty emotional side to them. So I think this is all I have in your reading, my pile number ones. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number twos. If you chose this aquamarine crystal and the gentleness card, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at who is crushing on you. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. So as I tap into the energies of your reading, I was closing my eyes and seeing mouthwash. <laughs> this person may be a person that has really good hygiene, especially dental hygiene. Uh, they may be someone that has 
this clean look to them or they're always put together in some way in their physical appearance. They're always put together and clean and neat. Even if they're not wearing the best clothes, there is this neat type of energy to them. Uh, this cleanliness to them. So I also saw a paint roller. I'm not sure what that's about. And as I tapped into the energies of your reading in pile one, I did not feel like this. But as soon as I came to pile two, I even feel like yawning now. I feel very sleepy, as if I'm just going to fall asleep on this table. <laughs> I don't know if this person is a sleepy person, or if they're just really tired right now, as I do their reading, that it's like making me a little bit tired and sleepy, or if... They just feel safe in your presence and maybe feel sleepy around you. Or they could just be very dreamy, very much like have sleepy eyes or that sleepy energy to them or could love sleep. <laughs> I was also seeing a piano clairvoyantly and I'm seeing a bed clairvoyantly. This person loves sleep. <laughs> We have ask for help. So I already pre-shuffled your cards. We're using the messages from Mermaid's Oracle first. So the first card we have is ask for help. And then at the back of the deck we have abundance. I cannot stop yawning in your pile. Like, I don't know what it is. It's almost like this person's energy has put me under, like, this nap time energy. <laughs> We're gonna use the Starseed Oracle deck. We have Jump In with Andromedan Energy, Adventure, Say Yes to Change. And look at the eye here. This person may be looking at you from afar, admiring you from afar. Be maybe like enjoying your attractiveness or your look. I'm also clairvoyantly seeing a watch. The person may be a very visual person see, seeing that I'm seeing a lot of clairvoyant images. A very like visual person. Maybe they learn from visualness or they like to look at movies or pictures, documentaries. Um, film things, art. They could also be a person with a strong imagination or visualization process. Like they may be that type of person that envisions their reality and kind of goes for it. I keep yawning my pal too, so like I can't help it. Okay, we have the card double mission. We have the light worker star seed serve the world by being you. So, with the eye here, this person may also be finding you, like, physically attractive. They may have something about their eye stands out, like, um, maybe they have nice eyes. We have the seas of Mentaka with seeing potential and bringing unconsciousness to light. Um, the funny thing is, this crystal is actually broken at the side. <laughs> I don't know, like, why this crystal fell over, but maybe it's here to show you, like, this person has been hurt before. Or, yeah, they have been hurt before, maybe, like, their heart has been bruised in love before, and it's kind of like when they're looking for love, they're very patient. Um... And they're very discerning of who they are letting into their circle. Especially in terms of romance. Because I feel like this person is a gentle, dreamy-like person. They feel things on a deep level with the seas of Mantaka. This person has a gentleness to them. And they have a very big heart. This person has a heart full of unconditional love. And when they really love a person, they love hard. We have the cracked open card with rock bottom surrendered to the alchemy of life. I'm laughing because cracked open looks like this 
<laughs> it's like cracked here. Like that's not a coincidence. Um, so this person may be repainting their reality. That paint roller I saw in the beginning, they may be p repainting their reality, restructuring their reality the way they want it. And they're the type of person that when they do something, they're not just going to do it. They, like, whenever they make a decision, they're not just going to blindly make the decision without any reason behind it. It's kind of like this person needs needs to have a purpose for something. Whether it is in love, career, um, friendships. It's like, I'm not going to be friends with this person if I don't see potential. If I don't see a purpose for this connection. And even if it's not like, what is this person going to bring me? It's like, okay, um... I see that if I am friends with this person, we can experience a lot of joy because they're a very upbeat person, very positive person, and I need that in my life. That's just an example. Or let's say this person is making a decision for career. Uh, let's say they're making a decision for an idea. They're not just going to put any idea out there. There needs to be a purpose behind that idea. And in terms of their career and their work, it's like they do have a big purpose. They do see a purpose behind what they do. And I think this person kind of just... I'm looking at the closed eyes here and it even gives me like that sleepiness. This person gives me like Jupiter and Neptune energy. Um, so Jupiter is the planet of luck. And Neptune is the planet of dreams. This person is a dreamer. They love to see change in the world. Or they want to create change in the world. This person is very adventurous at the same time. Very joyful. And they kind of give me this vibe like they're not afraid to take risks. And they love to see change happen. I think this is the type of person that sees every little change in the universe as there is a reason for that even if we can't see the reason why it kind of gives me this vibe like if this person talks to you it it will be like oh this happened to me and it was so painful but i believe god or the universe has a reason for that like that type of energy so this person has a very trusting energy trusting of God or the universe or whatever higher power they believe in if they do believe in any and I think this person wants to communicate with you in some way I'm not sure what the ask for help card would mean right now but maybe like because we had that abundance card at the back of the deck I just want to see what sh what's up this one Okay, we have loosen your grip with coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. Yeah, this person could be religious. So, this person could be wanting to ask for your help in terms of business ideas or in terms of collaborations or a work situation. You know, you could even work with this person. It could be your co-worker. This person could be could be someone you know from school. Or they could have just had their eye on you for a while. And maybe you work in a similar field. Or they want to collaborate with you in some way. Because they feel like you have a lot of skills that can add to theirs. Like in terms of... In terms of seeing the potential behind it and seeing how your skills can merge together. Um, so there's this vibe of like this person wanting to reach out for you. Out to you like in terms of business or career. But I could also read this as this person maybe isn't doing so well right now in their finances. And maybe you are someone really financially stable and... Maybe they want to ask for certain ideas. 
If it's not with finances, I see it as this person wanting the true treasures of life because the back of the mermaid oracle was the abundance card and I'm looking at the treasure here. It's like they're seeking the true treasures in life, which would maybe be love to this person. So take it as it resonates. I'm hearing like pearls of wisdom as I look at this card where she's holding the pearls. So maybe this person had to learn some wisdom before they could reach out to you in some way or maybe this is what they think right now. Well, I get the energy that this person wants to communicate with you in some way because they see a lot of potential in you and the connection you could have together. I'm hearing that song We Could Have Been by her and I know this doesn't maybe relate because the we could have been talks about like a past connection where we could have been but it didn't. But in this case I'm seeing it more so as I don't think this is anyone from your past. I think this is someone that wants you in their future, that wants to create some kind of love with you, that wants to nurture you, that wants to share what they perceive as unconditional love with you because they see potential in you as well and they feel like you can relate to them a lot or they can they feel like you could just like how I said you know they they see a purpose in everything and in everyone they meet it's not like they just go for anyone in terms of you they see something not only physical qualities and traits but they see something they see some type of potential of what you could have together and some type of purpose for what your connection could be. So they could be daydreaming about what you could be without we could have been song. So we're using the Ethereal Visions Tarot. I've already pre-shuffled your cards. Let's go ahead and see. So we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, like this person has maybe been burned before. And this person could be a water sign or an air sign. Or a fire sign. So, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or... Sagittarius, Leo, and, and Aries. So the next card we have here is the Four of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. I get the impression that this person may have seen you out before, or may have talked to you at a party or some kind of event with the Four of Wands. Or they may perceive you to be a very fun person and they may have seen you out and about physically or on social media. But for most of you, I, I feel physically. And I feel like this person is very slow to make decisions. They really analyze decisions before they make them because, like I said, this person's been burned before and I just heard it ringing in my ears. We have the Page of Wands. The Ace of Wands, I feel like this person finds you to be very physically attractive and appealing to them. They may find you to be very hot, very sexy, but they may also see potential within your qualities and traits. Um, it's like this person, I feel with the Four of Wands, they may be looking for something a little bit more serious or stable 
in terms of love and I don't think this person just wants to be with anyone. I think this person wants sort of like a life partner or a marriage partner with the four of wands and if not for some of you the four of wands is a card of pleasure and celebration so maybe they want to maybe they first want to be your friend and celebrate with you whereas for others of you there is if you're not over the age of 18, please skip over this. There is some type of sexual attraction here and maybe they find you attractive in a sense where I don't feel like this person would just want that from you, but like maybe they're kind of just interested in you and they want to maybe go on a date with you and they think it will be fun. Um, this person doesn't give me the type of vibe, like, even if they do find you sexually attractive, they don't give me the vibe of, like, the type of person that wants to just have something casual. I think this person gives me a vibe of, like, wanting something more long-term and stable because sometimes I see the Four of Wands in a love reading as marriage. Um, so with the Page of Wands... I think this person has a side to them as well where they have this adventurous side, this kind of playful side to them, very creative too, and they're open to learning, open to growing. It's like when this person does something, they want to feel passionate about it. They want to feel the sense of empowerment, like I'm enjoying what I do, I have the sense of pleasure in what I do and I feel like the spark of life within me and now all of a sudden I feel better like before I felt very sleepy so maybe this person has two sides to them this very dreamy sleepy <laughs> imaginative side and this very spark of life fiery side to them so the next card we have is the ten of wands So we have 1010 10 here. Some of you may be seeing that angel number or the number 10 may be significant to this person. I feel like I keep getting messages that this person's been burned before, that this person has a weight on their shoulders and it's emotional because we have the seas of Mantaka here. Water reminds me of emotions. We have the Three of Cups. So with the Three of Cups, it gives me the vibe like this person has made certain choices in their life when it comes to people in their circle, the people they hang around with or the people they're with all the time. And it's like, I get the impression from this person in their younger years, they may have had a lot of people be around them and kind of not reciprocate a lot. Like, I feel that like this person is someone very caring, very genuine, very gentle and loves at an unconditional, like, place. But then when it comes to people around them, especially in their younger years or before or in the past, it's like those people were kind of just, were kind of just not reciprocating everything they were giving. And maybe they were making certain choices that weren't aligning with this person's life and where they want to be. Like the vibe I pick up on here is maybe this person had younger years where they were having a lot of fun partying, going out. But maybe they had friends around them that weren't true friends and just just wanted that. Do you get what I mean? And like when they were maybe going through challenges, when they call them, they wouldn't be there. Like friends that are sort of unreliable, like friends that are fun but unreliable is the vibe I pick up on here. So there's something about friendships and with the Three of Cups, you know, this person could have had people around them. Not be as loyal to them because the Three of Cups can sometimes 
indicate third-party connections, which maybe explains why this person is very careful of who they date. It's because they want the values to match up in some way. Um, I think loyalty is a very important thing to this person, loyalty and communication. And the sense of keeping the spark alive in a relationship by connecting, uh, by making sure that communication doesn't disappear. We have the Ace of Swords. So this person has a very brilliant mind. They give me a very visionary energy, like... Very, very smart. May also be creative in some way, may have creative ideas or a creative mind or ideas that are celebrated by a lot of people. And this person may also think in a way that is very much out of the box. They may think in a way of like, what do other people need in the world? What do people need more of? We have the Queen of Wands. So this person may be king or queen of wands energy and may be looking at you because you embody either king or queen of wands energy as well. We have the page of cups. This person has an innocent side to them, like they kind of don't take life too seriously. We have the magician. They see life as like their oyster, life as their kind of like playground. We're here to create, we're here to kind of enjoy life. So this person's also very independent, has a lot of leadership qualities and traits, but is also very much that type of person that always lands on their feet, even when they're going through certain things in their life. This person is the type of person that wants to spread joy everywhere they go. And they have a lot of inner strength within them that others see. They have a lot of potential within their creative ideas. Even if, even if they're not creative, even if they have, you know, like a normal job, it's kind of like they have a lot of ideas that can really work. This person thinks outside of the box. This person is also, this person may also be very physically attractive, but I feel like they are the type of person that, you know, when they see you, maybe they're physically attractive, attracted to you, but I feel like this is the type of person that wants to con connect on like a mental level would want to become your friend first, would want to, you know, joke around with you, play with you, <laughs> like be playful with you, um, make you smile, make you laugh, that kind of energy. Although others may look at them this way, like they have this, this amazing mind and all these beautiful qualities and traits and so much potential within them. I think they're learning to see it themselves. I think they're learning to find confidence within that. So we have the Empress. This person gives me a very go with the flow type of vibe. Like I said, they don't take life too seriously and it's not that they don't take life too seriously, they do care. But at the same time, it's kind of like we're here to enjoy life. We're here to kind of even just enjoy our work. We're here to enjoy the little things we do. I see this person having a mindset of if we are serious, even about serious things, where is the enjoyment or the fun in that? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. We have the Nine of Cups. So I think this person has this energy to them where they may have 
been impulsive in their younger years or before in the past. So this person may be changing a lot in their personality as they grow and learn and become more of themselves right now. Because I'm seeing a lot of past energies in them now, like a difference in who they are. So like they may have been going through some kind of transformation or ego death or some kind of change within their identity where they've been letting go of certain parts of self that weren't aligning to this newer version of them, this version of, version of them that they wanted to create. And it's like they've been gaining new parts of self. I see this person going through like an identity shift where they're kind of painting and creating their identity. So with the Nine of Cups, I feel like this person really has a wish for love as well. Has a wish for for this type of energy of having someone that brings in a lot of positivity and joy into their life. And I don't think this person is looking for that joy outside of them. But I feel like this person feels like you could add to their life in some way. I feel like this person thinks that you are a match to them in some way because I'm seeing... Um, I'm not sure if it was Love Island or those movies, not movies, those reality TV shows like X on the Beach, those ones. I'm not sure which one it would be, but like, I'm seeing like one of those kind of shows, like that type of vibe and saying like perfect match or something like that. So like this person sees you as their perfect match. Um, and is kind of wishing to be with you, wishing to communicate with you. And now I'm seeing the vision of, a vision of Donkey, where he's like, I'm all alone. <laughs> Got no one here beside me. So it's like this person feels like they want a companion. They're kind of ready to to get to know you or to communicate to you in some way. And I feel like when this person does, they will do so in baby steps. They're the type of person that, although they used to be very impulsive, they're not anymore. They really take slow steps towards anything in life, is what I feel right now. Because it's like, they really want to get to know that thing they're bringing into their life and not just run rush into certain decisions. So this is what I see in your reading, my pile twos. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this carnelian crystal and the relaxation card, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at who is crushing on you? So please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. So we're going to be using the messages from Mermaid's Oracle deck first. I have already pre-shuffled your cards. So the first card we have here is communication. And at the back of the deck we have solitude in reverse. Now we're going to be using the Starseed Oracle deck. So the first card we have here is Star Family with You Are Part of a Team of Souls. Call in support. We have the Seven Star Sisters with Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life and Expression. We see a lot of space and stars in these cards, so this person may love space, may love the stars, may like astrology, astronomy, Star Wars, <laughs> I just heard Star Wars. Uh, we have surrendered to the sweetness with Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. They may also love or be interested in astronauts or like NASA, things like that. <laughs> or planes or I don't know I'm just thinking of like space in the sky and things 
or like aliens even. <laughs> we have the golden children with inner child tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. For some of you, I'm seeing a Leo energy because as I tapped into the energy, I saw a lion. Uh, for others of you, fire energy, we have Taurus and Libra here with the Venus energy. And for others of you, I also feel a water energy. So um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there may also be a lot of like Taurus energy here because I'm also looking at this turtle sea turtle i'm not sure <laughs> we have lifting the veil with questioning everything anything unaligned must go at the back of the deck so with your cards here my pile number threes i basically see that the person that is crushing on you right now maybe that type of person that is very relaxed very chilled like, they're the type of person you chill with and you feel very comfortable with. They're maybe that type of person, like, if you went to their house, you know, maybe you'd get some food together. You'd be on the couch watching TV together. It would be very chilled and it will feel very much joyful. But it's not like, it's not so relaxed and laid back. It's... It's kind of like a balance of both because I feel like this person can be a little bit extroverted but at the same time they're very chilled, relaxed and laid back at the same time. I feel like this person likes to communicate a lot with many different people. They may be that type of outgoing person that loves to, you know, speak to everyone, that loves to, you know, make connections with people. Uh, this person may be creative in some way and they may talk a lot to other creatives or other people that have similar interests or hobbies to them and I feel like this person may often love to go out, love to meet different people, love to just chat and get to know people. I think this person loves to have their mind stimulated. It gives me the vibe like they don't like to just stay at home all the time. Like, I don't think this person's a homebody. Like, at times, yes, they can be chilled and laid back and relax and things. And most of the time, they are relaxed. But I think they're more extroverted. I don't think they like spending time at home all the time. Yet, they can. So, I feel like this person has a balance within them where... Where, like, they're a chatterbox, but at the same time, very relaxed and laid back. Like, the vibe I get here is this person loves to make friends. This person is very courageous. They love to stand out in the world. They love to show off their skills and talents, but not in a type of show-off way, like, egotistical way. It's more so, like... This type of vibe of expressing themselves, making connections with people, talking. I feel like this person is very unique in their own way. And this person is very pure in some way too. They're very, very sweet. I feel like this is the type of person that notices little things about a person. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing like an energy here of this person doing sweet little things or saying sweet little things or noticing sweet little things about people that not many know like so for example let's say you're talking to this person and like they notice something about you not many people know and they're like this is very cute about you uh so they're very perceptive and it's like when they're talking to those they love it's kind of like they'll make mental notes of that person and remember little things about them, which is really, really sweet. I think that's a very beautiful thing. And the vibe I get from this person is like they want to give to everyone around them. They're very sweet. Like they want to give to everyone around them. They want to give compliments. They want to give to those around them. Like the vibe I get is they're very... Uh, they have a hospitality type of vibe to them like if I had to go to their house they'd probably offer me food or something to drink or something like that or if we were going out together 
like if I was their friend, I'm just imagining myself in their energy. Uh, they'd probably ask to buy me a coffee or something. Like this type of person is very sweet. They want to do little gestures for those that they love, but not only those they love for those around them, even strangers, uh, even acquaintances. I feel like this person is very open and makes others feel comfortable, especially like, I don't know why, but I'm seeing like this person likes likes to be around other extroverted people, but also likes to be around people that are more shy or more introverted or more like to themselves. And it's like they try to make especially like shy people feel welcome and shy people feel like they can open up and be a little bit more comfortable. I'm seeing this person is very physically attractive with the Venus energy here and they may be watching you from afar because they feel like you are also very physically attractive but they also feel like they want to communicate with you because I'm looking at this card and this vibe of like watching you from afar wanting to communicate with you I feel like this is the type of person that would want to become your friend first would not flirt with you up front but would make you laugh or would tell you a joke or say something very light-hearted or silly to to get you to open up and to get you to communicate and just get to know each other in in that sense like I don't feel like this person is overly flirtatious when it comes to like getting to know you um so this person really gives me like chatterbox vibes like this person tells a lot of stories about their friends about things that have happened in their life about you know everything I feel like you'll never get bored with this person because they always have some type of story to tell this person is also very expressive they love to express themselves either through the clothes they wear through the things they do through certain talents hobbies skills um, through their work through their voice through communication you know they may be very expressive with their face or their voice when they're telling stories or telling someone something um, they may also be very funny, very... This person gives me a very light-hearted energy. Like, if I'm around them, I'm just gonna feel like I'm just vibing. <laughs> um, and I, I think this person is very fun to be around. There is a sense of their inner child being with them, and I don't think they take life too seriously. Like, this person gives me very free-spirited vibes. Very free. Free and flowy. <laughs> I think this person is also growing in emotional maturity now and there is a sense of them wanting a deeper type of love or wanting a more emotionally vulnerable, open and truthful type of love. But I feel like when they start to get to know you or start to communicate with you, I definitely feel the vibe of them wanting to be friends first. Or wanting a lover that they can be best friends with. This person is part of your soul family as we see here with the soul star family card. So we're going to be using the ethereal visions tarot in a minute. Um, the vibe I get from this person is they may communicate in their career. They may be someone that is very well known by others or in their community or... Just like that type of person that knows a lot of people or is known by a lot. And the vibe I get from them is they may communicate in some way in their career or use their voice in some way. So speaking is something that comes naturally to this person. We have the Eight of Wands starting off your reading. We have the Two of Cups. If you can hear music in the background, I apologize in advance because I have neighbors here at the place I'm living. Well, I'm not living here, but I'm kind of not on a holiday, but 
I'm at another place visiting and there's neighbors here that always play music so loud. Okay, we have the King of Wands. We have the Fool card. So, yeah, this person does give King of Wands energy. Very much like this outgoing, confident person. Six of Pentacles. Outgoing, confident person that loves connections with others. Yeah, this person gives me the vibe like they're... They're very free-spirited. They're always open to newness. They're always open to experiencing new things in their life that they haven't experienced before. I feel like this is a type of person, you know, that loves to travel or that loves to experience new places, new new things to see all the time, new new people, meeting new people, new connections. It's like... They love the sense of each day being a new beginning and each day being something like a new memory they can make and unlock. Um, I, I'm seeing games like this person may love to game. They may be a gamer and this person may be someone with a lot of passion for the things they love to do in their career or just passion for life in general. This person seeks adventure and seeks thrill. Like, they give me a very outgoing, fun vibe. <laughs> and I feel like this is the type of person that has that sense of magic within their hands or within whatever they do, or within their voice. It's like they can maneuver or make any situation go better. Um, I feel like this person, if they were brought into situations where, like, it seems like nothing is going to go well, somehow they are able to use their charm, somehow they are able to use their voice, their confidence to to make the situation go well in some way. And I feel like this person is a type of person that either loves to talk on the phone or doesn't talk on the phone as much and loves to talk in person. But like I said, yeah, this person's very sweet, very generous. And it seems with you, they want to be generous with you. They want to give to you. They want to be sweet to you. It's like they want to get to know you and start something new with you because I feel like they've been watching you from afar for a while now. And it seems like they think that the connection with you could be very beautiful. This person could have a lot of siblings or sisters or brothers. And it seems like this person, like in terms of them, oh my gosh, we see a line here. I saw a line at the beginning. Um, this person is very courageous and it seems like this person wants to courageously open up to love because I feel like... For a while, they may have been a little bit, I feel like, fearful of commitment or fearful of, like, being with a person or opening up their heart and trusting. Um, if it's not fearful of commitment, it's trusting. And, you know, like, really saying, you know, I'll be with that person and, like, what if this happens? Because right now, as I speak about this, I'm experiencing cold teeth. And it kind of reminds me of that saying, cold feet. <laughs> um, I don't know why. But anyways, like, with the two of cups, I feel this person is very romantic when it comes to love. But I think they had to heal certain things within themselves before they were ready, before they were able to open up to love in some way. And I get the vibe, like, they really want to communicate with you. They really want to muster up some type of courage to, to ask you out on a date or to ask you out in some type of way. So, the next cards we have is the lovers. And we literally see a couple getting married. Um, I think this person now is ready for a commitment. Even if they weren't in the past. With the Knight of Cups, 
I feel like maybe in the past this person... The person has always been a hopeless romantic, this person, but maybe in the past they were a little bit... I wouldn't say wishy-washy, but like... Maybe they didn't exactly know what they wanted. They were kind of like ready to give their heart to anyone. But I think now they have maybe learned that it's important to look at certain qualities and traits in a person to see if they match up with our values, to see if they to see if they want the same things as us because when I look at the two of cups, the two cups are very similar. So it's like we we almost need to have similar values or similar things we want for this connection to be not equal but like for this connection to be balanced, for this connection to be fulfilling to both of us where it's meeting both of our needs and wants. Um, and I think that's something this person had to learn, like some type of lesson this person had to learn. Um, and it's now like they're ready to experience that type of love where you're always pouring into each other, where it's like, if I am empty today, you're going to give to me. Whereas if you're empty the next day, I'm going to give to you and pour into you. I feel like this person is a very fiery, adventurous, passionate person and I'm picking up like in the bedroom they're very active or just a very active person in general like they I think they're always working out or they're always walking around or they're always doing something they're very active busy bees even at work and with the lovers here I feel like they're definitely ready to make some kind of commitment in general in terms of love and I think they want it to be with you with the knight of cups we have the Ace of Cups and I feel like I'm looking at the hand here and it looks like it's offering you this cup of love and even the Knight of Cups. So I definitely think this person has had their eye on you for a while. We have the Hermit, um, but maybe they've had to really look at themselves, look within with the Hermit. Um, because the vibe I get here is either this person has been watching you on social media or they have known you for a while or maybe you're friends with this person or acquaintances and they've known you for a while but it's kind of like they had to question, um, is this person even going to be attracted to me? Do I match up to their standards? Because I feel like there's the sense of not, not necessarily you having high standards but the sense of like, if I am to make this commitment to this person, am I going to be good to them? Am I going to treat them the right way? Am I going to be the best partner they could be with? Um, am I going to be that person they want? And it's kind of like they had to look within, um, maybe had to heal some trust issues or heal something to do with commitment issues. Uh, so that they could open up their heart because it's like I think they had certain qualities or traits within them that they knew they had that they didn't want to hold back in love um, because they felt like it could self-sabotage love in some way and with the hermits I guess they've also been learning to be alone because I feel like this person loves to be around people so it's not normal for them to be alone in love um, but I think they've been learning to get more comfortable with being alone. I'm hearing that song, I'm not sure who it's by. I don't know if it's Tori, Tony, something like that, but she speaks about like alone, but not lonely. I could be even thinking of it wrong. I've heard the song in high school, but like I can't remember what it's called now okay we have the ten of pentacles <laughs> i feel like this person could be that type of person that has a big family or that wants a big family we have the sun card this is a very happy-go-lucky person and i mean even the fact that i'm doing pile three and people are playing music outside maybe that is a physical sign like maybe this person loves to 
loves to celebrate, loves to have fun, loves to do fun things, loves to explore life, um, sees life as some type of adventure uh, where we get to have fun, where we get to enjoy. We have the Justice card. So this is also a person that is very honest. Um, although maybe they had certain trust issues or commitment issues in the past, now with the Justice card, I feel like even if they had that, they were always honest because I feel like maybe in the past if they had casual encounters with people or maybe if they weren't ready, I feel like they would tell the person honestly and upfront. Like, I don't think this is the type of person that would lead on another person. They're very honest. They, they appreciate honesty. They appreciate community, communication even, and the sense of even if it is a difficult conversation, we need to be honest and upfront with each other. So this is what I see in your reading, my pal threes. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!